Good evening, parents, siblings, friends, administrators, teachers, and fellow colleagues. We are here tonight in order to honor those students who have satisfied all of the requirements to be inducted into the National Junior Honor Society. Please stand for the flag salute. And remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God,
The scholars sitting behind me represent the academic elite of our upper elementary schools. Out of the approximate 400 students enrolled in grades 8, 7, and 8 at Jefferson, Lincoln, and Roosevelt schools, only a select group was eligible to apply for the National Junior Art Society. There are 44 new inductees seated on stage tonight, and 15 current members sitting in the front rows. These students make up the Linner's chapter of the National Junior Honor Society, which is quite an accomplishment. <laughs> the students, as well as their parents, caregivers, and teachers, should feel extremely proud for the accomplishments this group has achieved thus far in their academic careers. Thank you to all for raising and teaching such wonderful children. The new inductees will now be a part of this national organization. I know I'm looking forward to the continued academic success of these students in the future. Before I turn the program over to the students, I would like to inform you all that the best opportunity for you to take a, capture a picture of your child tonight will be when their name is called and they approach the table to my left and they'll sign the registry book. I've instructed all the students to take their time when signing their name. <laughs> also, as you will be asked later, please hold all applause until all students have signed the register and recited the oath. So without any further ado, our program will begin. Thank you. In order to be inducted into the National Junior Honor Society, students must satisfy four separate criteria. The four criteria are scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Activity or attainment of a scholar, one who is an intelligent and well educated person. The scholars inducted into the National Junior Honor Society this evening have earned the academic distinction of honors high or high honors in order to qualify for membership.
The following Jefferson Elementary School students have satisfied the National Junior Honor Society requirements of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Ms. Gianna Alberti. Ms. Alexa Barino. Ms. Gia Estrada. Ms. Julia McCann. Ms. Stephanie Bozo. Ms. Kiara Acta. Ms. Elena Henning. Ms. Alicia Hamilton. Ms. Johanna Mahana. Ms. Nicole Mercado. Ms. Ornella Novak. Mr. Jordan Worm. The following Lincoln Elementary School students have satisfied the National Junior Honor Society requirements of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Ms. Isabella Alvarez.
Mr. Anthony DeMarco. Mr. Nicholas Morelli. <coughs> Ms. Anna Rankowitz. Ms. Laura Abreu. <coughs> Ms. Ileana Gentile. Ms. Julia Lima. Mr. Salim Salim. following Roosevelt Elementary School students have satisfied the National Junior Honor Society requirements of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Ms. Bella Carbone. Mr. Kevin Dimitrowski. <coughs> Ms. Emma Firstwater. Ms. Emily Gabriel. Ms. Rihanna Giacomo. Ms. Mia Gaza. <coughs> Mr. Aliohadi Hadar.
Ms. Dimple Tangawala. Ms. Deirdre Kearns. <coughs> Ms. Carly Martin. Mr. Abhishek Ramesh Kumar. Ms. Isabella Rivera. Ms. Alexandra Shapiro. Mr. Adam Benizia. Ms. Katie Yao. <laughs> Ms. Willow Collette. Ms. Gianna Grasso. Mr. Anthony Lavignani. Mr. Colin Lemke. <laughs> Ms. Ivy Mate. Ms. Victoria Niedwal. Ms. Carly Yao. Now I'd like to recognize all current members of the National Junior Honor Society, and then all members will recite the oath. Our Jefferson School members, Ms. Gabriella Bruno, 
Mr. Colin Kittrich, Mr. Brian Maduro, Ms. Halabat Olulade, <coughs> Ms. Celine Server, our Lincoln School members, Ms. Abigail Ayala, Ms. Julia Brubaker, Ms. Katrina Hauser, Ms. Audrey Lockett, our Roosevelt School members, Ms. Mariah Beeler Hope, Ms. Reagan Fershweiler, Ms. Mackenzie Kelly, Ms. Alyssa Musto, Mr. Dorian Powell, and Ms. Haley Spahu. At this time, I will ask all inductees and members to stand and recite the National Junior Honor Society oath. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, citizenship and character. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the third induction class of the Linear Chapter of the National Junior Honor Society.
the advisors of the Junior National Honor Society. So you can see that great teachers go above and beyond. And in the, in the case of these four outstanding educators, who also deserve the attention and the recognition, not only for the work that they do day in and day out in the classroom with their children, but the co and extracurricular activities that they uh, engage with uh, their students. And that takes, that's the mark of a special educator. Someone who goes above and beyond doing uh, just the, the instructional job in the classroom. There's a hidden curriculum. There's a love and a concern uh, for children in terms of what's in their best interest, not only academically, but socially, and in terms of decision making. So Ms. Basilla, Ms. Ellis, Ms. Ross, and Mr. Blevis, you certainly deserve recognition. deliver a prepared speech. Uh, it'll be brief, but the pride uh, that I know that you have and that we have as educators, the pride, we have no, there's no bounds uh, in, in that regard. So once again, I'd like to say good evening to all of you. And this evening ceremony is certainly a celebration of excellence. Its purpose is to recognize the dedicated students, your children, who have performed exceptionally well in the classroom, in related school activities, and of course in the school community. These talented, hardworking, your children, our students, have been chosen for induction into the Junior National Honor Society because they have been deemed to be the best of the best, as identified by their teachers and their administrators. Our honorees richly deserve to be selected for going above and beyond, for making the extra effort, for caring about themselves, for caring about their families, for caring about their future, but even as importantly, for caring about one another. These qualities, characteristics, and attributes will serve them well and will continue to be the foundation of their continued success in high school, in college, and throughout their careers. Achieving success is not easy. And I might add, as an aside, it's not a one-term event. Achieving success is a day-to-day -day effort. Striving for excellence is a habit. It's something that must be done day in and day out. This certainly won't be your first Achievement. You won't be recognized this evening, obviously, it isn't your first time, and it won't be your last time. But you need to respect the integrity of achievement, of recognition, because there are great rewards for recognition. Recognition is a great motivator, but the greatest motivator is from within your heart, from within your soul. Knowing the answer to that classic question, who are you? Who are you? as a human being, who are you as a son, a daughter, a sibling, who are you as a friend, who are you as a student, who are you as a teammate, what is your purpose? That's the classic question that every human being asks, who am I? So, doing the right thing day in and day out, in spite of the temptations, and the distractions by those who may not have the same dedication to excellence as you do. This is where your courage and your character lift you up to higher ground. We all celebrate parents, family members, friends, grandparents, educators. We all congratulate you this evening. We respect you, we respect what you've done. We're proud of you. And we challenge you to continue to pursue your dream, to be the best that you can be, to care about yourself first so that you can care about others, and to, to have the courage to build on this early success that you are experiencing. As an educator, and on behalf of all teachers and administrators in the Lindhurst School District, we also want to congratulate, of course, the parents and family members, the caregivers, for the support that you've 
giving your children to help us here in the Lyndhurst Public School District better educate your children. Thank you for your attention and best wishes. God bless you. Mr. Thank you.